Hi friends, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like a Japanese Channel. I'm Ryo. Today we are making shimmered sardines. In Japanese, we call it Iwashi no Nitsuke. You know, the recipe is super popular here in Japan, especially in winter. And to make it is super easy, I will taste super yummy. So why don't you give it a try at your home? Alright, let's get started! Well, the ingredients for shimmered sardines are only two. One is fresh sardines, and the other one is about one knob of ginger. For making broth, you need soy sauce, two and a half tablespoon, meaning, I mean, rice wine vinegar, two and a half tablespoon, plus one cup of water. Well, we got only three steps to make it. Step number one is to prepare the ginger. You know, julienne half of it and set it aside for garnish. Slice the other half of it and use it for shimmering. Step number two is to clean the fish. Scale it and gut it with a knife and remove the heads off. Rinse them well with running cold water and pat dry them with paper towel. Step number three is to shimmer. Add soy sauce, mealing and water in a frying pan or a saucepan and bring it to a boil. When it gets boiled, add in the clean sardines and sliced ginger. Shimmer it with drop lid on with medium heat for about 15 minutes. Remove the drop lid and shimmer it on till the broth gets almost evaporated. Keep spooning the broth on the fish in this period. When it gets ready, plate it and put on the julienne cut ginger on it for garnish. That's it! Sounds super easy, doesn't it? So why don't we go on to step one? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Step number one is to prepare the ginger. You know, julienne half of it and slice the rest. First thing you do is to peel the skin with a spoon, like this. Okay, it's peeled, so why don't you julienne half of it? Set it aside for garnish. So the rest of it is to be sliced. Slicing. Yeah, that's it. So what are we going to step two? Right, what are we going to step two? Step two is to clean the sardines. You don't need to use the paper knife, which is specialized to clean the fish, because sardines are so easy to get clean. So ordinary knife is okay. You know, the first thing you do is to scale it. Yeah, yeah, you got scale. Scale it. Move your knife. Yeah, you got a bit of scale. Then, cut off the head. Head off. Okay, give it a nice cut here, like this. Where right, you just remove the guts with the knife. Right, like this. Okay, right. So put it in the vinyl bag. Yeah, do the same thing to the other one. Yeah. Okay, clean the guts. Then rinse it with running cold water. Yeah, like this. And this year you got bone having got remaining blood here so why don't you use your index finger to remove the blood right now the fish is clean so why don't you pat dry it with paper towel yeah like this okay go pat dry it inside as well okay. pat dry it dry it okay it's the end of step two why don't we go on to step three Alright, it's time to go to step 3. Step 3 is to shimmer the sardines. So just start with two and a half tablespoon of soy sauce plus two and a half tablespoon of mealing. I mean in rice wine vinegar. One, two and a half. And with one cup of water. And bring it to a boil. If you like it sweet, you can add sugar as well. 
it's all up to you. Well, now the bros got boiled, so turn off the stove once and place the uh, sardine. You know, uh, fish is supposed to be plated and left-headed, so why don't you put it left-headed. Put the uh, ginger on it and spoon the broth once or twice onto the uh, sardine. Then turn on the heat, medium or medium-low. Then put the drop lid on. If you don't have the drop lid, just go ahead and use paper towel or aluminum foil or something like that. It works. I keep shimmering it about 15 minutes. Right now, 15 minutes has passed, so why don't we remove the drop lid and shimmer it on till the bras get almost evaporated. Keep spooning it on the sardine. It'll be nice. Like doing this. Okay. Spooning, spooning. Yeah, it's almost ready now. Yeah, it's all right. So why don't we plate it? But you plate it. Please be careful because the sardine is so, so fragile. Yeah. Yeah, looks great. Looks nice. Okay. Right. Put the brush on it like this. And last but not least, put on the uh, Julian cut ginger for garnish. Yeah, that's it. Well, now the uh, shimmered sardine is ready to go. Alright, now you know to make shimmered sardine isn't that hard. So why don't you give it a try at your home? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, put thumbs up button, leave some comments down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take good care. Arigato. Bye. See you.